Sherry, could you tell us about the benefits of Celadrin and in conjunction with osteoarthritis, please? Osteoarthritis is a very, very common health condition that affects a lot of people, predominantly those over age 50, but it can occur at a younger age. And it's very important, I think, for people to look at natural ways that they can support joint health. What's happening in the body with osteoarthritis is that you have a degeneration or a breakdown of the cartilage, which uh, is the cushioning material between your bones. And when you get a breakdown of that cartilage, the bone starts to wear and tear and, and grind against each other. So that can cause pain, it can cause inflammation, and it can really affect mobility and flexibility and, and quality of life. So when we're looking at strategies for the management of osteoarthritis, there are the drug approaches and then there are the natural approaches mm -hmm. and sometimes we use a bit of both. The concern with using some of the drugs for osteoarthritis, the anti-inflammatory drugs, is that they can be very hard on the stomach, they can cause bleeding ulcers, they can be hard on the kidneys and sometimes the liver, and there have actually been some um, heart problems associated with a group of drugs called the COX-2 inhibitors, which are a type of anti-inflammatory drug such as uh, Vioxx, which, were actually, which was actually pulled off the market. So when, when people ask me about natural strategies for the management of osteoarthritis, one of the things that I do recommend is the use of Celadrin, which is a blend of fatty acids. They're a blend of esterified or acetylated fatty acids. It's, it's unique, it's a patented blend that helps to reduce inflammation and to lubricate the joints. And this is something that I think can go hand in hand with the use of glucosamine. A lot of people are aware of the benefits of glucosamine in that it helps with cartilage repair and re regeneration and preventing cartilage loss. But Celadrin can um, work in a complementary way to help reduce the inflammation and to lubricate the joints. So I often recommend these two products together for those that are struggling with osteoarthritis. Now Celadrin, um, when we look at the clinical evidence behind it, it has been clinically studied. So as a pharmacist, that's something that I feel is, is very important. Uh, both the Journal of Rheumatology and also the Journal of Strength and Conditioning have published some of the clinical research on Celadrin. And what they've found is that it helps to improve mobility, reduce inflammation, and reduce pain, and also to improve uh, people's functioning with osteoarthritis. So those are some very important endpoints that were looked at in the clinical research. Uh, Celadrin is the type of supplement that to get the maximum benefits, you really want to take it on a daily basis. It's not something that you would take like an anti-inflammatory, only when you feel pain or discomfort. If you take it on a regular basis, it will help to control the pain, control the inflammation, and really preserve the health of the joint and also other tissues throughout the body. And as far as preserving the health of the joint and the other tissues, it might not be a bad idea to consider taking Celadrin on a daily basis even though you don't feel a lot of the need for trying to cure pain, right? Yeah, exactly. As I mentioned, it's something I would, I would suggest taking on a daily basis. You're not going to take a capsule and get an immediate effect. The benefit is by taking it regularly, you'll help to reduce pain, reduce inflammation, and really help to uh, preserve your mobility and your flexibility. Thank you. Good advice. Thank you.